Some folks have asked me, either on the channel, down in the comments, or out on the trails, how I have mirrors and hand guards on at the same time. Sorry about the lawnmower, guy just decided to mow his lawn. How I have them on at the same time when Polaris's website, when you build accessories onto your machine, says that you can only have one or the other. Honestly, I don't know why they say you can only have one or the other. As you can plainly see, I have both. And I ordered them both from Polaris. I think I actually got them from the Polaris store on Amazon. But everything you see here, all two mirrors and all two hand guards, I installed via the instructions from Polaris using the supplied hardware only. No modifications on my part. So let me give you some close-ups. So if you look at the mirror, you can see that this is nothing more than one of those wraparound clamps that you put around the handlebars. So as long as you've got space, you can put that wrap around any place. It doesn't really matter. It's very similar to a bicycle. It's the same kind of setup. I mean, certainly you wanna have it as far out as you can so that the mirror you know, your body while you're riding isn't blocking the mirror, but I mean, you could potentially put it most any place here. Um, the other mirror, same exact thing. It's a wraparound on the handlebar. So I'll give you another view for both, just from both sides. So, you know, same as what you saw previously on this mirror. So then the next question is, how do the hand guards attach? Well, each hand guard attaches somewhat differently, just a little bit. This hand guard on the right side on the throttle actually comes with the hardware. You have to install it right here on the very base of this throttle and all wheel drive selector. So basically they give you the hardware to do so, goes right up here I believe I had to take a clamp off. Honestly, I took the screws out or the bottom part of the clamp. I don't recall. I did this so long ago. But anyway, it just goes right there. So it doesn't interfere with the mirror at all. I mean, you could see where it's attached and where it comes out. And here's the mirror over here. So let's look at the other one. The other one attaches slightly differently. The other one actually attaches to the top instead of the bottom like that one. Um, and you could see here where it attaches. It's like a clamp that you do kind of have to fit in there. You have to finagle it a little bit. Again, this is not a difficult thing. It's pretty straightforward. And okay, so the mirror here is close. I mean, here's the clamp for the mirror. Here's the clamp for the hand guard. And yes, they're close, but uh, so what that they're close and they touch, big deal. I mean, have a look for yourself. Does that look so terrible? I think they look perfectly fine. The other, um, some folks have commented too that the hand guards, when you install them, um, one might be a little bit higher, the other is a little bit higher, you know, they're not perfectly even. And I found that too when I first installed them, but you have to understand something. When you're installing on this throttle and all wheel drive body here, when these screws are loose, you can pivot this, you know, up and down on the uh, handlebar because it's just a clamp. So you're essentially, as you move it back a little, you're raising the guard, you know, push it down a little, you're pushing the guard down. Same thing over here because this is essentially a clamp right here. As you loosen those nuts or as you tighten them when you're installing it, again, this can go up and down. So I moved them around enough that they're, I think they're, pretty even. I mean, you tell me in the comments if you think they're not. I think they're even. And it didn't take much moving at all. I mean, we're talking millimeters. So anyway, don't know why Polaris's website says one or the other, mirrors or handguards, not both. No problem installing both, using the included hardware, following the instructions by Polaris.